from one form of racing to the other, Dave Blaney. Yeah, Dave Blaney, of course, was a standout in the World of Outlaws series. He was an ace on dirt. Now he's made the transition to asphalt. He's running a limited schedule in the NASCAR Bush Series this year. And he's the latest discovery of veteran NASCAR owner Bill Davis. Long before he started racking up wins and championships at NASCAR's top level, Jeff Gordon started his stock car career as Bill Davis's new find in the NASCAR Bush Series. Davis plucked the young upstart out of the sprint car world, and now he's done the same thing with Bush Series newcomer Dave Blaney. Blaney is the 1995 World of Outlaws champion and finished runner-up every other year since 1993. He's also the youngest USAC Silver Crown champion in history, winning that title in his rookie season at age 21. But with the exception of this weekend's 100,000 to win historical big one, Blaney has quit driving open wheel cars cold turkey this year. Instead, owning his World of Outlaws team and turning the driving reins over to his brother Dale. I've been staying away and I think, I, I think I'm doing the right thing staying away, but I, I got to concentrate on what I'm doing and I, and I don't want, I, actually I just don't want anybody thinking I want to go back and run the sprint cars. I'm, I'm down here and I, and I want to stick down here and stay, so this is what I need to do. But the transition from sprint cars to stock cars hasn't been easy. On the pro side, Blaney has qualified 12th or better in five of the 11 races he's run so far. And he's got a couple of 14th place finishes. On the con side, though, he's also found the learning curve the hard way, finding himself in a wreck in half of those starts. Well, the biggest transition, I guess, is not just not knowing what the car needs, uh, just, just not knowing anything about that type of car. I, in the sprint car racing, I, you know, I've done it long enough where I run a few laps and I know what the car needs or I know what I need to do to, to help the car, but that's, well, that's not the case here. I, uh, half the time I don't know whether it is me, the way I'm driving it, or if the car needs work. And, uh, you know, between that and, and, and just the mentality it, it takes to race 300 miles versus 30 laps is a, is a lot different. So between those two things, that's, that's a big change. Even with the banged up sheet metal, Blaney has history on his side. When Gordon first started, he wanted up plenty of cars, and car owner Davis knows how that one turned out. I think as long as Bill can see see some improvement and, and see the desire and, and the commitment, that's all he needs, you know, that's what he's looking for. Uh, um, you know, I think he knows we've got everything, we've got the people in place and in the, in the cars to do the job here this year in the Bush Series, especially in the second half of the year. So as long as he sees, uh, he can see us moving forward, he's going to be satisfied to let us go. I know from the, the first few races I sat in that car to the last few, I'm, I'm a thousand percent more comfortable and I know a little bit more about what I should feel and what I am feeling and, and uh, I think the team's getting a little more confidence in me and, and um, there's been a lot of situations where we had a car that was capable of having a good top 15 run and, and for whatever reason we got, you know, we wrecked a thing or blew up or it, there's just been a few things that have taken out, taken us out of races and, and that takes, takes experience away from me that helps in the next race. So. Um, and uh, we, you know, we haven't raced in a, uh, probably two times in the last two months, so that's, uh, it's hard to get in the swing of things. But I'm really looking forward to the second half of the season. We're racing probably 10 of the last 12 races, so that's going to be a good time for us. Of course, giving Blaney time to develop is exactly why the Amico team is running a limited schedule this year. Plans are to run the full Bush schedule next year, then move Blaney up to Winston Cup as a teammate to Ward Burton in the year 2000. He's already helped test the cup car, but for now, the sprint car phenom is concentrating on blazing his own path to NASCAR's top division. I'll tell you, if I had an, another choice, um, it, it, I shouldn't have run the sprint cars for 15 years. And I think Jeff Gordon was in there long enough to take maybe the benefits from it and not get stuck in a little bit of a, a rut or a, you're setting your ways. But uh, if, I'd have, if I could do it again, I'd have made the jump earlier. Well, Ned, if there's any driver who makes the transition successfully, I'd put my money on Dave Blaney. They've shown a lot of talent, no question about it.